Hello, this is Mark Summers again from Summers Technical Services. We're going to finish up and uh, create a drawing of a spatial model we did <coughs> earlier in an earlier tutorial. <coughs> so let's go take a look at our uh, spatial model. And to create a new drawing, we'll just hit the new button and we'll do a B sized landscape drawing using our template. Part's relatively small. I think it'll fit nicely at scale one to one on a B size drawing. So it pops this in. It's asking us what model we want to use. That's the correct model. We'll hit next. And we'll just pick the view we want to create. I think I'll start the top view and then place a projected front view. And I'm done with that, so I'll prove that. I don't like the scale of the views there, so I'll right click on the sheet, edit sheet format. Oops, I'm going to do that. I'm going to select the sheet and go right click properties and then change the sheet scale to one to one. Yeah, it looks a little better. Yeah, I think I want a section view so I can see these holes in a section view. So I'll choose section view and I'll select the center of that view, approve that, and then drag my section view over here where I want it and approve that automatically get the view letters in the drawing label all for free all parametric so I think I'll add one more view uh, let's do an ISO view put it up in the corner there that's still the correct model and I'll choose the ISO view option and again I'll change the uh, scale to use the sheet scale sheet scale which is now one to one Okay, now I'm ready to put some dimensions in. I don't want to redraw dimensions. I've already got a bunch of them in the model, so let's go to model items and just show the dimensions we've already created when we when we created the model. I'll do the entire model until I have to go ahead and import these. Now let's look at the dimensions. Let's look at uh, hole callouts, and we'll also do uh, hole wizard locations. And I'll prove that, and the views, uh, the dimensions pop in, which is nice. Here's my hole size. It already tells me there's two holes, size, and the depth, all parametrically called out in the note. So now I'm going to add some center marks for these holes. Just select the center mark, op center mark option, and select these holes to pop in some center marks there. And I'll pop in a center mark for the overall diameter there. I'll approve that. Now I'll make some center lines as opposed to center marks. So I'll go center line. Let's put a center line in this view down here. So I'll select these cylindrical features. There's that one. And I'll select this cylindrical feature here. Puts me one in there. And then for these holes, the same thing. Puts in center lines for those. I'll approve that. Now these dimensions came in nicely, but some of them are not in the correct views that I want. So I can select these dimensions, hold down the shift key, and just drag them into the views where I want them to be displayed. That's kind of nice. Uh, this dimension here needs to go to this view. This one over here. And I think I'm done with that. And maybe I'll even put this radius dimension put him down in this other view down here this front view I created okay so the views are getting cleaned up I can move these dimensions around and I can also change the tolerances on these dimensions so if I hold down the shift button select those two dimensions pops up the property dialog box for that dimension I can change these to two place dimensions which is what I want down here in this view, I want that one to be a two-place dimension as well. Property box, change him. And do some more cleanup on these dimensions. Very easily. These dimensions here, I don't really want. I want to show a chamfer dimension. So I'll select these two, hold down the shift button, and I'll delete those dimensions. Doesn't delete them from the model. It just deletes them from being displayed 
here on this view. And lastly, I think I'll put this dimension in this other view over here. And if I don't like the way it's displayed, I can select it. Dialog box will pop up. And I can choose, I guess I've already chosen some tolerances on the whole, bilateral tolerances. I can change the way it's displayed if I want to. Then change the size, it just change the display. And let's see if I can find an option to, uh, well, we'll just leave it like that. Okay, so other than just cleaning up these dimensions a little bit, I think I've got it pretty well defined. Still need to go in and fill out the title block and uh, notes for the material and do the release comments. But I think you get the idea of how to get started with doing drawings and SolidWorks. Pretty much make themselves uh, just following a few simple rules. So we'll leave this tutorial. We'll close this tutorial out and hope you look for other tutorials in SolidWorks and other CAD tools at Summers Technical Services. Hello again, this is Mark Summers from Summers Technical Services. Uh, we're going to follow up with a spacer model we did in a previous tutorial and uh, create a drawing defining that part. It'll look something like that. Uh, let's go take a look at our model we did last time and we'll start a new drawing just by just saying File New. And we'll select our B size template that we've got. It should be a good size, make our views one to one and uh, be able to fit everything in there nicely. It's asking for the model we want. That's the correct model. We'll hit next. And I'll place my view. I'll put my uh, top view in as my primary view. And I'll drag a projected front view in also. And approve that. I'll notice that the view is a little bit too big. So if I go to the sheet and go to properties, I can change the sheet scale to one to one. And that'll look a little bit better. Now I think I want to add a section view. So I'll go to my view layout button, select section view, and I'll select that center point of that view as the origin. Prove that. And then drag my view over here and place it. So that looks good. I think I've got enough auxiliary or uh, orthogonal views. I'll put one more view in of a, for an ISO view. Just for grins. Again, select the correct model and just select the view we want. And I'm going to change this to the scale to use the uh, sheet scale so it'll be one to one like the other views. And we want, may want to add some uh, dimensions. Well, we don't want to add, we don't want to create new dimensions. We've got dimensions for the model already. So let's just show the dimensions we already have by selecting model view items and just showing those dimensions we've already created when we made the model. Let's just do the whole model. We'll go ahead and automatically import them. Uh, we'll choose uh, dimensions. We'll choose the whole wizard profiles and uh, we'll show the locations of those holes. So we've got the options we want. We approve that. Boom, there's all the dimensions that uh, were created when we made the model. Some of these dimensions belong in different views, so you can just select the dimensions, hold down the shift button, and drag them to the views you want. That one belongs over here. And maybe some of these views will approve that. Some of these other dimensions we may not even want uh, on our drawing, so we can just select them and delete them. It doesn't delete them from the model. It just removes them from the drawing. There's another dimension that belongs in a different view, so I'll hold down the shift button, drag him over here. So now we're starting to get the drawing looking like we want. Here's another dimension that belongs in another view. So we'll shift him over to here and similarly shift this one over there as well. And one more, this one looks like it belongs down here. Okay, so we can clean these dimensions up a little bit. 
and maybe these dimensions here are not necessarily ones that we want three place decimal accuracy so I'll shift and select both of those and I'll pull this down and make those two place dimensions as I will with the uh, radius dimension up here since uh, two decimal places seems plenty accurate now we want to add some center lines in here we can just go back to the annotation tab go to center mark we can place center marks on these holes here and then maybe on the uh, overall there we'll prove that and then maybe down here I want a center line instead of a center mark so I'll select center line option and then select one of these cylindrical features and both edges and throw those in that center line for me and maybe the same thing over here again go to center line and select a couple of opposing features center line Let's do opposing fixed features and then select here in the middle. That'll give me a center line. So now all that's lacking is uh, cleaning up some of these dimensions. I can change the uh, type by just selecting dimension and the properties box comes up. And again, I can drag these around to make them look more appealing. So that'll get us started on our drawing. Better now just filling out the title block and clean up some of these dimensions. So hopefully that uh, helps you get started with making drawings in SolidWorks. So until next time, that'll be the tutorial for now. And good luck with your modeling and drawing projects.